Hello students, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I don't know when you are viewing this video, but whatever may be the time, greetings from GNB classes. I hope you have all seen my previous video on how to find domain of functions. Exercise for session 2 from Aryan book written by Yamite Magarwal. If not, press the i button right now to see that video first. In this video, I am going to discuss the first five sums from exercise for session 3 from the same book. And in the next video, I will discuss the rest five sums from the same exercise. So let's start. In this question, to define the function, first of all, we have to see that inside log we are having root over x minus 4 and root over 6 minus x now this has to be greater than 0 no need to do any operation in this inequation because both of them are positive so if you sum it up it will always give you greater than 0 is it clear because the sign before root over x minus 4 is positive and the sign before root over x 6 minus x is also positive therefore the sum is also positive now the second case that you have to observe is that to define the function x minus 4 has to be greater than or equals to 0 because it is under the root sign as well as 6 minus x that is also greater than or equals to 0 is it clear now from the first one we are getting x is greater than or equals to 4 and from the second one we are getting x is less than or equals to 6. Therefore the required domain is x is greater than or equals to 4 and less than or equals to 6. Hence the required domain is closed 4 to 6. Okay, let us move for the next problem. Here to define the function under the root sign we are having log base half this expression has to be greater than or equals to 0 and 5x minus x square by 4 which is inside log it has to be greater than 0 is it clear to all of you so from the first one we are getting is it clear have you understood why i have changed the sign because the rule is log x base y if it is greater than 0 and y is lying between 0 and 1 then x will be less than y to the power 0 is it clear because the sign will get changed when the base lies between 0 and 1 okay so from that funda i have done this so we are having now if i factorize we are going to get so from the number line we are getting is it clear to all of you and from the second one we are getting so again from the number line we can find out is it clear now we have to find out the common region between these two conditions so we can write it here as x is greater than 0 less than equals to 1 or x is greater than equals to 4 less than 5 is it clear Therefore, the required domain is, have you understood it? Let us move for the next problem. Again, in this problem, same as the previous one, to define the function, it has to be greater than equals to 0 and it has to be greater than 0. Okay, so let me solve the first one. Now I hope you have understood why I have changed this sign because the base is lying between 0 and 1. Now x square minus 2x minus 1 if I take this equals to 0 and if I try to solve to find out the roots of x we are going to get Therefore, the two roots are, so we can write from this inequation, equation. 
So from the number line we can say since it is greater than equals to 0 therefore we have to choose the positive block. So this block and this block will come does or is it clear? So this is the range of x that we got from the first inequation. Okay. Let me solve the second one. Again from the number line. So we have to choose the negative block here. Therefore from this inequation we are getting or is it clear or not? Now we have to find out the common region between this and this. So for that let me rub this portion. So if I draw the number line to find out the common region we are getting from the first one we are having. So from the first one from this one we are getting this point is closed and one is open again this one is closed infinity it is open right. This is from the first one and from the second one we are having zero is somewhere here three is somewhere here zero open three open right. Therefore the common region that we are getting is basically this one and this one therefore the required domain will be or is it clear to all of you so this is the required domain now those people who have not done the inequation please see the video right now you press the i button here to see that video otherwise it will be very difficult for you people to understand the inequation is it clear Okay, let us move for the next problem. In this case, to define the function, this is the expression which is inside the root sign. So, it has to be greater than or equals to 0. Now, this fraction will be greater than or equals to 0. There are two cases we have to consider here. Case 1, when log of this is greater than or equals to 0, and this is greater than 0, this is case 1 and for case 2, this one is less than equals to 0 and is it clear? So we have to consider both the cases. So let me just first do the first case. From the first inequation we are getting, that implies and from the second one we are having, From the number line we can say, is it clear? Now we have to find out the common region between this and this. Clearly we can see that x is less than minus 2 will satisfy this condition as well as this condition, right? Here one thing I have forgotten to tell you that inside log we are having x minus 1. So, to define the function your x minus 1 has to be greater than 0. That is x has to be greater than 1. Is it clear? So, now since we are getting here x is less than minus 2 but the condition is x has to be greater than 1. So, we are not going to get any solution from this case. Is it clear? Let us move for the next case. First inequation we are having. Is it clear? And from the second one we are having after factorizing, again from the number line we are having, okay. Combining this two, now you see one thing, before that let me just tell you one thing, that in this case x is greater than 1. If you have to satisfy this condition, then this condition will become x is greater than 1 less than 4, right? Because any value which is less than or equals to 1 has to be rejected according to this condition. Now let us find the common region between these two and which is obvious that x will be greater than equals to 2 less than 4. Is it clear? Thus the required domain is x belongs to close to open 4. Is it okay? Okay. 
in this problem to define the function first we have to say that this is the expression which is inside the first log so it has to be greater than 0 number 2 this has to be greater than 0 is it clear to define the function now from the first one we are getting that implies So again from the number line, we are getting x is greater than 2, less than 3. Now this is the solution that we got from the first in equation and from the second one. If you observe this quadratic expression minutely, you will find that here a, which is the coefficient of x squared is 1, which is greater than 0. And the discriminant here is, which is less than 0. Now, for any quadratic expression, if a is greater than 0 and discriminant is less than 0, then that expression is always positive for all x belongs to real value. Is it clear? From the second one, we are getting x belongs to any real value. Okay. Therefore, the common region between these two will be, and that is the required domain, x belongs to 2 to 3 open. Is it clear to all of you?